Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Billy Deanna Luda is joining us here once again, our life coach extraordinaire from BillyGLifeCoaching.com. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm happy to be back. I appreciate it. Me too. <laughs> Happy almost um, end of summer, right? right? We got like uh, two weeks, a week left. Great. Labor Day's here. My goodness. Right. Boy, oh boy, things fly by. And in your career, your business, I know time does too, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah, people that you're helping with what you do as a life coach, would you mind explaining a little bit of your background and what it is you do specifically? Of course. What's going on, guys? I am Billy Jan Lutis of Billy G Life Coaching. I am a life coach and a motivational speaker, truly helping people live life on their own terms. That's where we're going today. But to truly help you improve in all these incredible areas, whether it's your mindset you're trying to grow in and overcome struggles or just to live life at a new level. Maybe it's a physical goal you have or even a spiritual goal, but we want to bring the trifecta together for you to help you, again, live life on your own terms, live life on a whole new level. And it's a blast helping every single person that comes into us or an audience member that asks a question. It's a blast, guys, helping you all live life on your own terms. <laughs> ah, and that's what we're talking about today, right? Because yeah. Um, you know, some people have regrets. We don't want to be one of those people on our deathbed saying, I wish I could have, would have, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what you're here helping people with. Let's talk yeah. a bit more about that. Of course. Yeah. And this concept, live life on your own terms. Since we started the business, since we began speaking in front of people, this has always been the term we've used. And someone asked a question the other day on our website, what does that actually mean? Because it's intriguing, like, okay, I want to I want to live life my own way. But how? And if you think about it, no matter what goal we set for ourselves, no matter what we're pursuing in life, no matter who we are in life, we're striving so we can have a sense of freedom and live life our own way and whatever that means individually. And when the question comes up of what does that actually mean? Truthfully, when we're diving into it in a, a seminar or we're diving into it in a one-on-one -on -one session, we're trying to help you define that for yourself because no matter what past experiences or certain belief systems we have or however we're brought up in our environments, essentially we're being dictated by those aspects. We're having thought patterns, we're having actions, we're having routines that follow all uh -huh. these aspects, right? Yeah. So if you think about it, if that's ingrained in us and our days are just completely the same, the same, the same, we're living our life by a certain term or we're living our life by a certain rule. And if we truly want to achieve growth in any area for that matter, we have to define a new term or rule to live life by, aka living life on your own terms, living life on your new terms for that matter. Uh-huh, exactly. But we need someone to kind of help kickstart us. So tell us about some of the process. How do we um, start creating our own terms in a sense? How do we start doing it? Of course. Yeah. And I, this past Sunday was actually, this was our YouTube message and we designed an entire process. Someone, a two-step process, someone can do right there in their seat or someone listening right now. If you have a piece of paper and a pen, I always recommend that because you can put your thoughts around a paper, but step one in this process for people to understand how they can do this is to get clear on what these terms are that you want to live by. Actually give yourself the time and be truthful with yourself what do I yeah. want my life to look like? But how do I want to live my life? What rules are going to then dictate where my life goes? Mm. And if that's step one, if you can gain that clarity on yourself, one, you begin to understand what rules you were living by. But two, now you have an understanding. Wait, uh, it could wait. be different. Mm -hmm. An aha moment happens. A growth moment happens right there where, okay, if I'm going to, if I want to live my life more energized or have more peace in my life, Step two comes into play right now where I always recommend you got to be truthful with yourself. And I think as a life coach, that's something we got to stress to everyone. As a speaker, we got to stress to everyone. Any individual needs to stress that to anyone else on the street. You got to be truthful with who you are. And you got to be truthful with what you might be doing that might not be getting you to where you want to go. Yeah. That, as you, yeah, the look on your face. I'm like, like oh, God, it. thinking, yeah, it's a little painful, like to kind of yeah. face everything. But you know, if we want that better life, we have to. It's true, right? So step two is exactly that. We have to get truthful with ourselves, but we have to ask ourselves the question. We got to list them. Are my daily routines, my daily thoughts, my daily actions and patterns creating this way of living that I want to have for myself, that I'm pursuing for myself? Or 
is it either pushing me away or leading me in the opposite direction or at times leading me into a wall and not helping me make that progress. And we recommend that quick two-step process, but when you can get clear and get truthful with yourself, new answers come because you're finally asking yourself new questions, new thoughts start to flow in, new okay. beliefs flow hmm. in. Yeah. Hmm. At that point, right? You're, cre- you're your own leader at that point, but you're creating your own roadmap to the life you're trying to live. Two-step process that takes at most five to 10 minutes, depending on how fast someone wants to do it. Heck, give yourself an entire week to do it. Why I recommend, not? Yep. right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? But when you get clear on this stuff, when you get truthful with who you are and who you're trying to be, and then you live life by these new terms that you set for yourself, life change is the only option that's going to start to flow in because at that point, your mind, heck, your body, your soul, the trifecta way we was mentioned on here are now coming into alignment to help you take the steps forward, to help you create, manifest if you want to use the term, but live this life with enjoyment and peace and love and everything that we always talk about out there that we're all trying to pursue for ourselves, but it's always at our fingertips. And this two-step process helps you get there. Awesome. And by the way, billygeelifecoaching.com is the website. If anyone does have any questions, we'll open up the line 631-317-1291, 631-317-1291. In the meantime, um, let's talk more about, you know, how we can do it. And then you also want to get into about being able to let go, right? I, I know that's a whole nother concept. If you want to go there yet, yeah, I'm not sure if you're ready. Of course. Yeah, no, we'll just run with it. And that's actually a client example. And, you know, like I said, with clients coming in, we help you define living life on that new term, that new rule that you're looking for yourself. But the beauty of helping people with whether mindset, the body, a body goal or a spiritual goal for that matter, is that when we bring the three together, you start to see true growth. And the client example, uh, one of the client examples is exactly this, as Jill just said, being able to let go and allow rather than trying to do everything on our own. And our, one of our Monday night clients, he's up in Canada. We're helping people across the country and we're reaching other countries at this point, which is incredible. It's beautiful. And our Monday night client, he's a very, very spiritual guy. And he's trying to grow this area of himself. He knows that he's walking in life with this positivity. He's trying to manifest his goals. He's trying to grow. He's trying to achieve these dreams, which I think everyone listening right now has at some point or another, whether you pursue it or not, you have a goal or a dream. And with this client, we had this great discussion and this teaching moment for that matter in Monday's session where one thing was said where, where when you're trying to manifest something, you have to, you get to a point where you have to surrender it. You got to trust that God, the universe, whatever term you want to use for it is taking hold of this and allowing your dream to come into play. And a lot of people can do that, but that is also a major struggle in the entire process of the law mm-hmm. of attraction, of manifestation, of the whole nine yards of just walking this life because we want to be in control. We want to be able to be the one guiding the car, getting ourselves to the destination. And in this conversation, this guy has grown so much spiritually and he's grown, you see it overflowing in his life, the alignment's there. And it's such a great thing to witness every single session. And he explained that his routine has now become that when he goes to sleep at night, that's when he surrenders it. He's like, you know what, God, take this. I Mm -hmm. give this into your hands. And but then he adds, I'm going to pick it up in the morning and which is totally fine. A great thing to say, because you are picking it up again in the morning, whether your schedule or your routine, whatever it is. But when you reach a higher level of spirituality, I always like to throw the question out there, which is someone's decision. When there are different levels of consciousness, different levels of our spiritual growth for that matter. And one we've all heard before is victim mentality, victim consciousness, where, all right, am I playing the victim where something outside of me is causing me, causing my life to be a certain way. And then number two, we just mentioned it manifester. You're, You're the one creating something. You're in control. You're in the driver's seat. And then stage three is channeler, meaning you're allowing God to work through you. You're allowing the universe to use that term to work through you and create through you. And if we're saying, hey, take this and I'm going to be the one to take it out of your hands in the morning and do what I got to do. Not a bad thing at all. But is the next level of growth saying, hey, let's do this together. And you do that in a meditation, you do that in a prayer moment with God, where it's like, hey, let's walk this path together. I'm not going to try and do everything on my own because you know that people have succeeded at that, but it causes other areas at times to 
deteriorate at times or to lower for that times. And we got to rest at that point. But when we can truly say, hey, this is in your hands, work through me. Let That's me right. be the one to take this step. That's your faith in action. Feels That's good. trust in action. Like you said, it feels good. And when we had this great discussion in our Monday session, it was like an aha moment where it's like, oh my goodness, I wasn't doing that. I understand if I'm taking it out of God's hands, the universe's hands, and I'm trying to put all the work in, am I allowing the support from other areas mm-hmm. to come in and help me? Or am I the one putting the blinders on, trying to do everything on my own? And then when I go to bed, when my head's on that pillow, that's when it's out of my hands. If we're trying to grow in life and be energized and to live a peaceful, joyful, loving life, where we're creating this abundance and creating these dreams that we have for ourselves in whatever form it looks, we need to be able to work in that process with God, with the universe in this entire level. And then we start to keep our energy. We start to keep this positivity rolling with us where we can shine that to more people. We can be a light to other people while our dream life is being created before our very eyes. Uh And it's such an incredible moment to have those conversations with clients or to speak that on stage and to teach people these ways to do it. But to see someone have that light bulb moment in our Monday session, I wanted to bring that here in the podcast business news network, because if there is someone out there, whether you're a business owner and you have maybe a spiritual goal, just as much, Mm -hmm. there's different levels to this stuff. But when you can work in a different level in that sense, in a mindset level, a spiritual level, a body level for that matter, there's a whole new door that opens up in life where it's like, okay, life got good and it's getting better and better and better. Why not knock on that door to open that up where life can get better and better and better? Mm, Yeah, we want good things. Why not? Now, a lot of us got run down, got, you know, lost track from COVID. I think we feel like we're recovering it. Although Dr. Fauci's retiring, but saying that's going to be a really bad, you know, fall. Um, But I think we learned so much from that time in our lives about the lows, about how low we can all be and how low we can get that. I I just feel like there's so many people are inspired to do different things, different careers, different jobs, different Mm -hmm. perspectives. And, you know, we're in it together and we're all resilient together. And now some people, you you know, they've changed jobs, they didn't change careers, but they're still maybe not where they want to be or need to be. So Mm -hmm. you need a little, extra help from our friend here, Billy G. (laughs) That's what I'm here for. And I completely agree with you. And that's actually been popping up more people like in my eyes, I think the stage of COVID has moved on. I think we're growing out of that area, but that was a factor that we all just lived through. And the, like you said, people got to new lows, people with depression at its all time high right now, which is terrible to say, but it's a true fact right now. Anxiety is extremely high because this area of COVID If we look at it in one perspective where it shut us all out, where we all went into our houses and we all literally, we literally couldn't socialize. So, you know, whether it's, Mm -hmm. that's where everyone put us on technology. However, you could use that time one way or the other, where one is, I'm just going to wait this out and not do anything. Or two, as you said, Jill, new insights, new inspirations, new goals, new dreams, new action points started to flow. And my perspective and this grander perspective at times I think that's what we were supposed to do where there was a world change happening where we kind of got shut out where it's like, Hey, it's time to make a change. Oh yeah. It was on us to make that decision. So as you said, people are now acting on new levels. People are are taking action points to create something that maybe was a dream that was dusted on and, and long before forgot. And then now it's like, all right, well, I've got time. Let's go for this. And people are starting new careers, as you said. And in that sense, Yes, that might not be fully uh, created yet. However, in this process, if you keep that drive going that inspired you in the first moment, that look at how the different levels of that where in a moment of inspiration, you were motivated to make a change. The tough thing with the day-to-day lifestyle is how do I keep that inspiration, that motivation going? How do I keep that energy surge going, that positivity to see this through to the finish? Yeah. And that's, that's tough for everyone, but in stepping into sessions and helping people overcome those lower moments, you realize you have to go back to, okay, why did I start this? What sparked me? What inspired me in the beginning to go? And I think that that dream, that step that people are taking to pursue a new career for themselves, that was always what you were meant to do. And if you just trust, as we said, and let that unfold while you're taking these steps forward, trust enough to believe that everything is guiding you to that. 
where yes, there might be hurdles that pop up. There might be things that twist and turns on the route ahead that might throw you and feel like you're being thrown off course. But when you eventually get to your destination and anyone listening right now, you will get to your destination. You're going to look back and realize, oh my goodness, that hurdle, that twist or turn in the route on the road before was actually a major support system because it helped me think differently. It helped me overcome more. It helped me get here in a greater, quicker way than if I tried to do it all on my own. And I think that's the beauty of what COVID did for us is it caused us to have those new thoughts and those inspirations. So at that point, was COVID the worst thing in the world for some? Did it give us time to step into a greater level and the best version of ourselves? If we want it to, so. and it always can, right? I think so. And that's so true for so many of us. Uh, mm -hmm. Really, it's been, <sighs> wow, uh, um, a rough ride, but I feel like we're at the end of it. We're at the end of the hurdle now. And we're just, why not live our best life? You know, life is so darn precious. And it's like you mentioned about supporting an action, like it's yeah. time to take action in a sense. And could you give us some client examples of who you've worked with and tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, of course, of course. And, you know, like you said, the support and action, everything, that in a sense is your support's always there. When we step in to support you and like these client examples that we always go over, you know, everyone comes in with a different goal. Everyone might come in with a personal growth goal, a business goal. Some people might come in with, I want to lose X amount of weight. I want to be in the best shape of my life, but it always unfolds to something more. Yep. And there, we got clients that come in. We got a lot of people that come in that want to either create a new version of themselves or to overcome an older mindset belief system that they had meaning anxiety meaning worry meaning stress how do i live without this now and it kind of comes back to what we said earlier with living life on a new term and we have to define what that is and when we're in sessions we want to help people actually get to the bottom of that where okay what sparked it what caused it yeah but now that we know that entire process that caused you to believe this way what's the new belief that you want for yourself what could you believe and some people come in, like we all come in at different levels, but some people, they need to take a lot of time on that question. But when mm -hmm. you sit there, like, what is the new belief that you want what? to have for your mm -hmm. life? It could wow. be anything at that point. Okay. I want to pursue X, Y, and Z. I want to live life on level 10 when I was living on level two, my entire yeah. life. Okay. What does level five look like for it you? Look then? Like when, yeah. Right. So we've got certain clients that come in they want to overcome this stuff. Like we got a, uh, incredible guy. He's been pursuing so much for himself. He's, he's trying to do this new career switch where he's been, uh, working in a manual labor field for so long for probably over 35 years at this point. And, but he came in with the goal of, I want to overcome my anxiety and it's just been there for so long. And the deeper we went into figuring out, okay, like we're taking these steps forward to help you achieve yeah. this stuff, to live in a greater mindset, to pursue this new career. Where did the anxiety start? Well, you relate it back. It always started to the annual labor field where I was always trying to do everything with my hands because that's how I was taught from the generation before me. Okay. So if I was taught from the generation before me, okay, what can I do now? What's a new step you can take for yourself? That in itself is tough for people because we learned a new, we learned a certain way of living from the generation before us. But if we're meant to create the next step for ourselves and for our kids and for everything that matter, why not teach them that you have the personal power to move forward and take a step into something more? So with this specific client, he is now at the point, which is it's tough where you need to create these new terms as we mentioned earlier. Um, and he's now creating that. Okay. I want to, he wants to open up his own gym. And awesome so different from the manual labor lifestyle, but he's always had a love for the gym lifestyle. He used to be a bodybuilder, everything like that. And now where he's stepping into this new career, he's taken the steps, no matter what the anxiety was to where now he's taking courses to be able to manage a gym. He's taking courses to all this entire process of opening a gym. And when our sessions were guiding you and helping you research this and guide you in steps of the way, but I think at times we put our blinders on, we don't see how much those incredible steps are for ourselves. Yeah. So people listening right now, whether it's a client that we work with that's overcome anxiety and he's trying to pursue more for himself, or it's you listening where, okay, maybe I am taking these actual steps. You yeah. got to give yourself credit in the steps that you have taken, even if it's something so small, where then we talked earlier a couple of weeks back on this idea of 
giving or seeing the victories that you've had throughout the day where maybe my victory was that I woke up today, or maybe I sent out that one email that I was supposed that, to send out the other day. You never so, did. You got a right? chance to. Yep. Exactly. There might be nine more you got to do, but that's a victory in itself that you sent out the one and you overcame whatever it was. Mm-hmm. So take the blinders off and see that you actually have come a long way. And that's exactly what we've helped our client pursue in a new mindset and new perspective. Oh my goodness, I might be this age right now, but I have taken these steps for myself in pursuing this new career. So no matter when you start, it's the right time. And I think a lot of people, they let their dreams and their goals pass away because they don't take that step. And then later in life, you're left with regret as you start this podcast. You know, why be left with regret when no matter your age, you could be in your 60s or 70s. And we've had clients that come in their 60s and 70s and they want to start a new route for themselves. Do it because it just invigorates you, inspires you to take a new step. Your energy is higher. I think that adds to the life process. Where That's you start the mindset live. mastery coach right there waiting for you. <laughs> exactly. Right. And I love it. I love it. But it's just so incredible to see clients come in take these steps and just to really live life again. And that's all we're trying to do is and help you grow. But when you live life on this new level, it's just a joy every single day you wake up. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> oh, well, let's talk about the mastery course. So what do you have coming up? It's a group um, a, a session thing. Is it a group coaching course we're talking about? Yep. So this, this right now is we put this together months ago, to be honest, and it's been out there and people are coming into our mindset mastery course. You can go onto our website, buildyoulifecoaching.com and there's a link right to it. You can even enroll right through our website. But in this entire process, we have created an entire course that people can do on their own at their own speed, at their own time with an entire lesson plan that they can then print out for themselves and move forward with these assignments to help you grow, but I like to use a terminology to unlimit yourself. Okay. We want to teach people how powerful your mind or the term we use is your universal tool because it can do anything. It can create anything. It can help you in every step of the process if you know how to use it. And if we all have this incredible tool, every single person in the world has a mind that they can use. Am I using it the right way or am I mm-hmm. letting it hinder me in whatever I'm meant to achieve in my life, my purpose for that matter. So in this course, we have 20 lessons right there. People can log right into. And in each lesson, we're teaching you a new level of the mind to unlimit it, to unlimit yourself, to suit everything that you, your potential for one, but everything that you can create for yourself. And we go over the entire process of manifestation that to teach you how to do it. We teach you a journaling aspect. We teach you meditation aspects. We literally take every tool we can, resource we can in your mind, give it to you and allow you to take it at your own pace, where every single day you could wake up and do one of these lessons where that day one just got better, but two, you just learned something new that opened a new door for yourself. And every single time you learn something new, a new door opens, a new opportunity opens for you that might lead you to something greater. Why not take that chance to unlimit your mind and see how powerful you really are? I think that's the best part is we are so powerful. We have personal power on a whole new level. And this course is going to help you understand, bring the trifecta together to create that life change that you've been seeking. It's incredible. Awesome. 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 And if you want to get in touch with you, give us your contact information. Of course, guys, first step, go to buildyoulifecoaching.com. You can see what we're all about. You can set up your own free strategy call with me. You will arrange my schedule right there. Set this up. And guys, we have a half hour to an hour. We're going to be talking about whatever goal you're trying to pursue for yourself and helping you on that call. At that point, we can go over everything we do in our sessions. So buildyoulifecoaching.com, you can set that up for yourself. If you're looking on social media, you can go to at Billy Janalutis on Instagram. You can see all of our motivational posts. You can see everything right there. You can even log into our Mindset Mastery course through the link in our bio. Go to YouTube once a week with Billy G. Every single Sunday, we're bringing you a new motivational message to spark your week and help you move forward. And then Facebook, type in Billy G Life Coaching or Billy Janalutis, and you're going to see everything that we have posted for you guys. Awesome. And we do still have a few minutes left. I'm not cutting you short. Uh, What else do you want to say before we have to go today? What else did you want to discuss or bring up to everyone? Yeah. I mean, everything we just went over is such key aspects for people. If I can say anything else for the rest of this podcast, guys, get truthful. As we said, get truthful, no matter, even if that's you, you could be someone on vacation right now, listening to this, where it's like, yeah, I'll just tune in. And if this, if anything that was said in this podcast right now, or any of the other podcasts for that matter on the podcast business news network that sparked you, 
that is your insight. That is your intuition telling you, hey, there's something here. If your energy rises, if your heart starts to be a little bit faster, your fire starts to burn a little bit from one thing we said, no matter what it is, guys, take that step for yourself to Google search, to research, yeah. to reach out to me. If something I said sparked you, that's you taking an action step to pursue something greater for yourself. Why not knock on that door? Yeah. Why not change the daily routine, change the daily pattern, the daily thoughts you have by taking a new action? And that's all I can ask of people is to take a new action. You are guaranteed to get a new result, which could change your life for the greater in every possibility. Why not do that? Oh, thank you. And free contact, free information. Uh, you're willing to talk to someone with a free call. So if you have questions, it can't hurt to reach out, right? Of course. No yeah. obligation. Yeah. 100%. Exactly. It's not time to force you, but he could give you some good advice and that's a free phone call. My goodness. Yeah, exactly. That's our goal. Help people. Helping people is the number one thing we're all about. So, all right. Yeah. Well, Billy G, pleasure having you here. And for those of you who may say, wait, well, I just tuned in. I don't know who you're talking to. What, what, what's his number? What's up here? Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.